Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we create a whole high output plan from the beginning. So we're going to create a new file and we're going to base it on the template that should be the latest one and should be the only one in your folder. Uh, and if you haven't got that, go and see Kevin or Sylvia uh, and you'll get it. So we base our new project on that. You've got to base it on that. It takes a copy of that file and we've got to tell it some basic information about it. So we need to say what the uh, what the project is called from our perspective. We need to say what the footprint of distance is. And this is the work area itself, but added about 500 yards on either side. So I'm saying that this is 73 miles. We've got to put an M, a space, a number, and a Y. And we're going to 73 miles, 1720 why and we're going to do this on the uh, 8 the 10th of September next year and we're going to start at quarter to 10 in the evening so it puts the next day in by default uh, we could choose from the date picker another way of doing it rather than typing it uh, any day any year any month any day uh, in this particular case we're going to uh, aim to finish by 6.30 in the morning. So we leave the base time as minute, we leave the default calendar, we click on apply and task wants to save this data file. So now you, you navigate to some folder on your network drive and you save it. Okay, and so then we're going to look at how we uh, populate, first of all, the um, green lines that we're going to put on screen for the extents. So we're going to uh, close all of our libraries up we're going to expand the project data distance axis definition distance profile we're going to double click on work area extents and in here we're going to put in the start uh, distance so we're going to start the actual work itself at 73 miles 660 yards uh, and we're going to 73 miles 1220 yards so we're doing 560 yards of work between those two areas so that gets us the green lines when we draw an activity or move an activity it snaps to those areas we can also put in the isolation extents and providing the diagram is wide enough we'll see it on screen so i'm going to say these are 73 miles um 200 yards uh 73 miles 200 yards and we're going to uh, 73 miles 1680 yards so that's going to get those red lines on the screen but your diagram has to be that wide to see it if you want to make your diagram wider if you click on the main time distance cell on the cell settings tab this is where you can set the start and end distance so i could say i want to make that 74 miles 200 yards and it will move the right hand edge. Okay, save at important stages, scroll to the top. We want to populate this spreadsheet. Used to be a spreadsheet, now it's a set of uh, tokens inside Talos. So we'll go edit that through tools options. Uh, tools options is such a regular thing. There is a direct icon for it, and we're editing that in this these cells here. So I'm not going to do all of them. Um, just going to do a couple of them so uh, we can type in or paste in that information uh, if we have it and um, we're just going to do a couple of those but you can see it populates that area you can't edit it directly on screen because uh, you could we don't want you to move the boxes around but you can edit what's inside it so now it comes to the point of um, you could put a map in here and there's a separate movie for that uh, but we're going to concentrate on using a task group of the particular sort of work that we're going to do. So in the library, there are task templates, but there are also pre-prepared task groups. So different work methods using different equipment that have been prepared in advance. So what we're going to do is create a new one of those. So you click on this icon insert task group we go onto the body of the diagram we draw a box between the green lines starting at the date time that we want doesn't matter how deep it is we let go we choose from the task group that we want so we're going to choose the high output ballast cleaner we always choose the coordinate method 
we double check the coordinates that we've drawn in and we can always pick them here from uh, these uh, list boxes uh, and we double check we got the right date and then we click on OK and then it creates all of these activities in one single go they're all the standard things that we're going to do so there's two things we have to do before we click on the reschedule one is we have to check the and adjust the configuration of the train to have the right number of wagons so we click on the <coughs> position BCS setup and we look at the allocations planned uh, and this is the resources on this particular wagon where the vertical line is that is the work point of the track renewal machine which is this activity that's located there everything before that in the list is to the right of it so if we say we haven't got 27 wagons empty wagons we've got 23 so that changes the length of the train and I've got uh, 10 full ones not 11 uh, and they're they're to the left of the work line so that means that that area to the left is reduced so that is the footprint of the train that will be pushed onto all of the other activities uh, using the same resources if we look at, through the links and the constraints tab the link to the successor task if I double click on that has got this option highlighted so it's going to update the train setup on a reschedule so I'm not going to reschedule now but it's going to push that same resources onto the these re other balance cleaning uh, activities and they'll also get shorter the second thing we've got to do is scroll to the bottom and we're going to position the work site activity with an imposed date to stop it moving any earlier and that is we're going to choose a start on or after setting make sure it's start on or after and we're going to set six o'clock and that cannot start any earlier than that but it can be pushed on into the future and what that's doing is creating enough space for the DWWP float activity which is an intermediate task uh, and that's been driven by its links its duration will be set by its incoming links so when the S&T reconnections is finished that's when it can start and it can end when the return work site starts which is why we put an imposed date so now if I reduce the zoom scale enough and give you enough screen space to see what's going on uh, we could have both the setup and the possession at the end so we're going to reschedule now we're going to see what the, the duration the length of this is going to be pushed into these activities and it's going to have an impact on the uh, DWP the other thing about the DWWP to say is that it's got a minimum duration which at the moment is five minutes but I'm going to set to 15 um, you might want to set to longer and if it if it gets if it's shorter than that after reschedule we will be warned and I'll show you that in a minute so if we reschedule now then you can see this these activities have got the same uh, train setup and length as the previous one and the DWWP expands to fill this gap and it's at the moment 31 minutes so if that isn't enough you could do less work so if you to do less work you choose the BCS activity and say well if we only did 500 yards so that gets shorter and because of the outgoing links have got those special settings that is going to set the same footprint in distance on all the following activities just by changing that one it's also going to change all the following activities and because they've got a rate production they're not going to take as long in time so just change that one thing rescheduling everything moves up to make way for it is shorter in duration and length so you can see all of these have changed length our float has gone up to 50 minutes uh, and there you go so it's so easy to do that and just to show you that warning if we were to do uh, 620 yards and uh, could we do more what would our could we get out in time if we reschedule we get that warning because it tells us that the intermediate task is underrun because we said warn us if it's less than 15 minutes and now it's only 11 minutes but maybe maybe you could do it so um, up to you so there you go that is how to do a whole plan in less than 10 minutes give it a go guys and gals